Protesters back at the Muskegon City Hall tonight to raise their concerns about a company that does medical testing on animals. That company bought land from the city to build a new research facility. And tonight, that plan cleared another hurdle. News 8's Kyle Mitchell in the newsroom now with where this project stands. Kyle? Brian, the commission approved a special designation for the property and an additional 10 acres that would allow the company Northern Biomedical Research to apply for tax breaks. The voices speaking against a medical research lab that does testing on animals made their opposition clear. They take our city's good name, our trust in our elected officials, and most of all, the lives of innocent animals. They called on Muskegon City Commissioners not to create a commercial rehabilitation district for a site purchased by Northern Biomedical Research on Olthoff Drive. This is not for Muskegon. We do not want it here. We do not want our money spent on killing animals. Period. The commission's approval of the site means the company and others who purchase neighboring land in the district can apply to have taxable value on the property frozen for up to 10 years. Essentially, a business would be paying taxes on the land and not the building they plan to build there. Some city leaders say the investment would bring jobs and other tax revenue to the area. This is a $40 million investment. It's quite large. It'd be very doubtful that any company would put that type of money into a community. Uh, and leave after 10 years. But people who oppose the plan see this as another step to green light the Northern Biomedical Research site. Publicly, they're saying this could be for anybody, anybody that would move in, but the timing is exactly in line with, okay, we're voting for the purchase agreement. Now we got to get them abatements. The county has to sign off on the creation of the district within 28 days. City commissioners would still have to vote on if a tax abatement would be granted. In the newsroom, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.